something happened. The perception of that's horrible. Uh, Richmond schools already suffer from a perception problem and I think that regardless of what happened in that case, superintendent never should have made the decision to transfer him out. Now the salary increase had to do with uh, an overall BRS deal um, so he didn't actually get an increase in salary but when that was first went around the internet um, it, it was ridiculous. You know that, that rests largely on the shoulders of the superintendent. And honestly, I've talked to school board members. I don't know how it made it through the school board because that was a big deal. And the school board should have some oversight in, in things like that. Um, I intend, obviously, to, uh, to make the school board um, a body that enforces accountability and transparency uh, with the administration. I think we have to focus on good leaders. And um, the superintendent needs to be held accountable. Uh, she needs to be uh, accountable to the board, and she uh, needs to show the board respect and, and do the, the wishes of the board. And a lot of that has to do with the overall perception. We also need leaders. Uh, we need good leaders, not just educator, educators or administrators in um, the roles of HR and in the, the role of the um, controller of the schools um, and chief operating officer of the schools. If we can put good leadership in place and have that trickle down and also create uh, an environment where the parents, again, have some say in the running of the schools, much like charter schools and private schools. You never hear about this stuff at those schools. You know why? Because those schools are accountable to the parents that attend those schools. In private schools, the parents are paying for it. In charter schools, you have a board that's directly accountable to the parents. Uh, the backstory on the the uh, issue at Blackwell was the principal there uh, allegedly had a fraternity hazing event over uh, winter break and rather than being disciplined or uh, terminated, uh, he was shifted into an administrative role over special ed, uh, even though he didn't have the certifications to serve in that capacity. Uh, and that's a problem. Um, there has got to be more accountability in the front office of schools. Uh, there's got to be more accountability uh, uh, at central office, for sure. We simply cannot expect for our schools to advance and for us to have a focus on academic excellence if there is a focus on protecting jobs rather than having the best and the brightest in the classrooms. And that's why I think we need to give parents uh, a stronger role in uh, the teachers that are teaching their kids. If it's your kid spending seven hours a day for nine months in a classroom, you, we need parental input in the teacher review process. That is, that is a, a fundamental to, to a, a strong review process, and we've got to make that happen. Uh, but the bottom line is we cannot continue to allow uh, folks who are not meeting the standards that we need them to meet. We cannot continue to, to uh, shuffle them around throughout the system to the detriment of the kids because at, at the end of the day that's what this is all about. Okay, now to 
Shonda Ma Harris Muhammad, the same question. Thank you. Um, let me share something with you all before I address that question. I have served in the role of principal, summer school principal, assistant principal, testing coordinator in the district, compliance um, coordinator for special education, classroom teacher for 10 years. So I am very much aware of the process, protocol, and procedures in education. One, one of the things that we take pride in in education is the evaluation system. Each teacher um, this year will be embarking on a new teacher evaluation system handed down by the Virginia Department of Education, as well as all administrators and superintendents. This discussion of the principal and black women. Okay, here's two things that the public may not be aware of. Everything has not been shared nor told. Um, do I believe that hazing occurred? As a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, our Greek letter organizations are members of a non-hazing organization, first and foremost. Did something happen? Yes, yeah, something did happen. Did communication filter down correctly? No, it did not. Um, was he directly involved? No, he wasn't. What I, what I want you all to understand is this. We can't, the superintendent cannot fire nor hire. She can make recommendations to the school board. It is solely responsible for the school board to make recommendations to hire personnel. Did they receive all of the information that was pertinent about this case? I don't know. I can only address the, the situation from my background, my experience, and what I have gone through as an administrator. Trent indicated the perception. There is a negative perception that the school system has to work on. Would I move ineffective, and I don't like the word bad, ineffective, because those are words that we use in the evaluation system. Would I promote, agree, moving people around? No. Okay, now to Kiki Pinkney, that's the same question. I think that leaders, all leaders must exercise their judgment. It's important that parents know that when we make decisions, we'll make decisions that are going to positively impact their children. Paramount to how we're going to lead this school system is by making student achievement, their safety, our number one priorities. And basically any individual who comes to this school system without that commitment probably shouldn't be working for Richmond Public Schools. 